think it looks it looks amazing and also I'm, I'm very much looking forward to drive it. I can't wait to actually uh, taste it for the first time. I expect to be to be impressed. Here with me is uh, Desiree Bloomer. She's Chief Marketing Officer of the AMZ Racing Team. Can you explain us what AMZ does? Yeah, exactly. So AMZ is a former student racing team from the ETH Zurich and the University of Applied Sciences in Lucerne. So it's a merged teams out of students. And every year we build a new race car and compete in the world, world's largest engineering competition. And today you had a guest here, Sebastian Buemi. How was that for you? It was very impressive because like normally the drivers we have, they are like drivers who do it as a hobby, like good carters or stuff. But now someone really having in the car who knows like everything behaves, who has a comparison to an F1 car, it's impressive. Also it's the feedback he can give, it's way more detailed. Here with me is Linus Wallmann. He's uh, the guy that designed the motor uh, for the IMZ car. And Sebastian Buemi was here today. And I remember this morning when he saw the motor for the first time, he was so impressed. Did you see that too? Yes, yes. Um, I know that our motors are quite capable. And over the last, um, last years, we were able to um, reduce the size of them quite a lot. And what we have now is um, what the car needs the most um, from torque-wise and everything, um, the motors were designed for the car, so yes, I, I think we can, as a team, be quite proud of our motors. And also, like now, with the, in the cooperation with Maxon, like what we build is quite, quite amazing, I think. How do you feel in this car? I feel great. I'm very thankful to, to Maxon and AMZ for the opportunity. It's a, it's a great car. It looks amazing. I've seen, uh, I've seen the car just driving around before, so uh, I can't wait to actually uh, taste it for the first time. Does it feel different from other racing cars? Well, no, so far it feels good. You know, it's tiny. Of course, I've never had the, the tires as close as as it is to me, but uh, again, I, I mean, it looks really efficient. So um, can't wait to just see how it feels, you know. I've never driven a car that has torque vectoring, so I think it's, it's going to be a good experience. Yeah. So what do you expect from the performance of this car? I expect to be, to be impressed. I mean, only watching the car and looking at the world record holder car there with less than a second, of course, it's not exactly the same car, but I think it looks, it looks amazing, you know, so I'm, I'm very much looking forward to drive it. Have fun. Thank you.
So Sebastian, you just drove this car. How does it feel? It felt amazing. I've I feel really honored that I got the opportunity to drive this car. Thank you very much to, to Maxon and to AMZ. It's been a, an amazing experience. You know, uh, when you look at the level of technology that is in, in that car, you have you know, way more than you would dream to have in Formula One or WEC or Formula E that I drive. So it's been, a, it's been a real pleasure and the performance as well has been incredible. You know, the torque vectoring in the tight corners, the acceleration of those tiny motors. It's, it's insane. And then, of course, the track itself, you know, between those little cones, it's, it's a real challenge to make sure you don't touch any cones and at the same time you go fast. So it's, it's been a great experience. So when you came here this morning, did you have any expectations what could happen or how it would be like? Yeah, when I, when I saw the track, I thought, whoa, it's really tight and narrow. I don't know how it's going to feel, but it does feel fast, you know, because clearly the car is so direct and has so much power and, and brake capacities. And even, you know, when you look at that front wing, it looks even more evolved than the Formula One. So it's pretty impressive. And I'm obviously really happy that I, I had the opportunity. So what makes it different to drive this car compared to your Formula E cars that you normally drive? Of course, you know, it's, it's a very tiny car. Here, so it's a bit like a, a go-kart on steroids. It's, it's really powerful, tiny, but it, it's optimized for, optimized for Uh, overall performance. Formula E, obviously, you have a, a big regulation in place with lots of things you can you cannot do. So it's it's not really a fair comparison. But let's say it's the most direct and responsive car I've ever driven in my life. Mm. So you talked a lot to the students here today. What was your impression from the students? I was honestly really impressed by the the level they they, they all have. I mean, also, the, when you look at that car, it looks like it's a professional team here. You know, they go in details from the aerodynamics to, you know, the, the carbon. If you look at the, 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 the monocoque they did and all the technology on the electric motors, it's, it's pretty impressive. So it feels like a, a professional team, you know, not a student's team. So clearly, I think it's a great platform for them. And I think, uh, you know, once they've done a, a few years here, they are really ready to go uh, into a uh, You know, real job. Mm -hmm. So, what was there anything that surprised you today? Did you learn something here? I think I learned a lot on on the, the torque vectoring, let's say, on the electric motors, because I've never driven a car that had four electric motors in each wheel, and that you can actually uh, get the car to rotate that much. I mean, I've heard about it. I've heard how good it was, but this is the first opportunity I had to actually uh, test it. Okay. Thanks for having Thank you here you. and for giving us. Those are answers. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Now, Sebastian Buemi drove the last year's car and gave a lot of feedback. Yeah. So uh, what feedback did you took out of it for your department? So it was really interesting to see how he reacted to the torque vectoring, especially. So what I was talking about, how we can allocate torques individually during cornering. And he really liked it in low speed. So he really felt how it really helped him rotate the car around the mm -hmm. corner. But he said in high speed, it was a bit counterintuitive. We have to say it was the first time for him driving, but such a skilled driver, you really value also his mm -hmm. input. So what we'll do is we'll definitely look at how the car is reacting in high speed and maybe reduce it a bit so it doesn't feel as direct. So we sort of, um, so to say, I wouldn't, don't scare the driver too much uh -huh. when he's going in high speeds. Uh -huh. So Sebastian drove the last year's car, but you are already working on the next car. What can you tell us about the next car? Yes, so we won a lot with the last car, but not everything. So this is what we're trying to achieve this year. Uh, we have some improvements going on. It's always a thin thread between re-engineering and over-engineering. So at the moment we're in the assembly phase of the car and yeah, hopefully we get to drive it at the end of April. Can you already tell us where the car will be revealed? 
Yes, so uh, Moxon is so nice and they will host uh, our rollout. We have a rollout every year where we invite over 300 guests and this year we will be in Sachsen and we're very much looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you as well.